The remains of Anne Wangoi Karanja are carried by her friends into the church they all used to attend in Nakuru. The teacher was flying home from Canada with her daughter and three grandchildren when the Ethiopian Airlines jet crashed in March, killing all 157 people on board. Most of the bodies were burned beyond recognition, and it has taken months of DNA analysis to identify the remains. We must heal first before anything else. Even when it comes to compensation, let's seek God's guidance in everything we work out. 32 Kenyans were on board the Boeing 737 MAX, which crashed soon after takeoff from Addis Ababa. Boeing admitted a faulty sensor contributed to the disaster. The entire 737 MAX fleet has been grounded since the accident, which followed another in Indonesia a year ago. Boeing is paying compensation to the families of all the victims. The pain in this neighborhood is felt by everyone. Wangoi was a community leader. Neighbors watched her daughter Caroline grow up and doted on her grandchildren when they were home on holiday. Anne Wangoi's family says, for now, they're just glad they can finally bury their loved ones. Initially, I thought the impact was so huge that no remaining would have been gotten. But luckily enough, when we went, we had, they had to open the boxes and you identify parts of your wife, like the hair, head. So what else do you need? You just feel he, she is the right person whom we have been praying that one day be found. She'll be remembered for many things. Some say she brought out the best in children she taught. She was also a loving mother and grandmother to those who died with her. Catherine Soy, Al Jazeera, Nakuru, Kenya.